Hello, in this uh, video, I want to continue some of the conversation that we were having about uh, Michel Foucault and the arguments in debate, specifically the way in which Michel Foucault's arguments about debate particularly affect uh, very, various like policy arguments and the way in which I think it can be executed against various policy arguments. I think that Foucault is a really interesting strategy to have against policy teams because I think it's a critique that much like kind of like what I've said when I've talked about the Kafka and several places really is able to uh, stand with a lot of affirmatives at the question of like magnitude if you're really able to make your impact ar argument really make sense and develop well out of the rest of your arguments but it also has a really good indictment of the way that we use debate think about politics as like a place and like epistemology for how we form subjects and i really think it's just an interesting place to kind of ground a bunch of different questions i think you can ask about the affirmative but i do think it requires you to really take a question about how you can really diversify the offense that you're reading and contextualize it to the various kind of like populations that are really affected by the various like processes that are like taken up within debate and politically to really get to the question of like how that relates to like how population are managed, how life is managed, and like who is able to receive resources. And I think these questions are really incredibly important, uh, important when you're really thinking about the water resolution moving forward. And a lot of the stuff that I'll be talking about will kind of be in a uh, thought process, really trying to think through um, what some of these debates on the water topic could look like, because I definitely think biopolitics is a type of argument that could show up there and I think could be a really interesting debate to have overall. In this particular uh, video, I want to start off talking a little bit about what I just think about the link debate in biopolitics. This is the place where I think when I was reading the argument, I originally struggled with the most because I think that a lot of the arguments I felt like had such like end results that were so similar, i.e. they kind of like all ended up in a place of like surveillance, or like the management of life, etc., that it didn't feel like I was really getting the juice out of like the different types of links or evidence that I was reading. And I think that uh, the thing that I kind of learned uh, thinking back on how I could diversify or kind of resolve maybe some of this barrier is really taking in a question of like, what does it look like for me to like change the types of levels and ways that I can test the affirmative on and really think about like biopolitics both as, both, both as a way of thinking about the institution of a particular political plan and like ideas and methodologies, but also a way of thinking about the way that we interpret and use spaces such as debate. And so I think that both of being able to indict and think about the affirmative and building offense on both sides is like really, I think, a good way for you to kind of like think about how you can diversify, diversify your offense because I think it allows you to uh, create places where you're contesting the affirmative both the question of its literal implementation and the way that kind of like sanitizes the ability of the state to continue uh, certain managements of life but also the way in which that kind of like management becomes a portion of how we think about like the types of ways that we evaluate debate the types of values that we take into like what types of plans and political advocacy models should be instilled over other how we decide like what is successful and like what is a failure and I think being able to indict the affirmative on this can also change the terms in which the affirmative is able to indict arguments that you read, such as things like the way that you're thinking about the alternative, uh, various ways that you're considering incompat comparison and the ability of like the alternative and the affirmative to like work together in the context of a permutation. And I think really situating your arguments in terms of like how the one AC as like a representation of like what political framework should look like and like why that justifies a particular policy, being able to really create both levels as a way of thinking about like management of life as a way that we think about like an entitlement towards like ways of uh, thinking about data gathering or like the idea that like the current way that we think about how populations are managed is the only way that currently exists for the possibility of what governance could look like etc and really exploring why some of these possibilities kind of like over limit what it looks like for us to like think about various political possibilities outside of the ones that the affirmative has allowed to be possible and I think thinking through those sorts of offense can be a really good place to kind of like start a lot of the places for you to like switch up the type of link arguments that you're reading additionally I think when you're trying to resolve questions on things like the permutation it's incredibly important to really think about the ways in which the permutation especially in the context of Foucault debates are, are really going to be a question of like whether or not the affirmative is able to win a convincingly turn in relationship to the state's ability to manage life and death I think that a lot of affirmatives can find creative in routes even if it's just like the preservation of all life allows us to like open up resistance to the management of life etc type of arguments are really about trying to find a way to win that they kind of at some level reduce the state's ability to over determine like how populations are able to live and die unless they're taking like a very hard kind of like impact turn stance towards that type of thing maybe at like a international relations type of scale and I think that in the sense of like where most affirmatives will be and kind of trying to win that link turn type of argument I think that you should be uh, mostly trying to push an argument just about like way the kind of like idea of the state's kind of decrease in power is seductive not just because surveillance shows up in other places but because of the way in which it intrudes the very way in which we think about the particular role of the state which I think is something that is an argument that can be a 
apply to a lot of different types of like critical perspectives but i don't often see like used enough in the way that critical teams are really trying to make intuitive arguments about why the possibility of a permutation is so bankrupt and i think really tagging on arguments about why the uh, a type of political frame that requires us to desire the usage of the state as a way to like kind of curtail its ability to like control and manage populations at some level is an investment into that same system it requires uh us to like kind of take up an alternative that's like much more uh, in refusal of that and i think that when i begin to kind of talk about the alternative debate closer to the end of this video i'll get a little bit closer to an idea of what i think maybe some of these alternatives could look like but i think in the role in terms of like how this looks like for impact comparison. I think that there's a really uh, interesting two like two set of relationships that really exist between like a lot of the arguments that are made um, from Foucault and biopolitics in relationship to policy teams. At one level, I think it's really interesting because I think that a lot of the arguments that are being made about like how populations are managed and like prioritized and deprioritized in the face of biopolitics has a lot of interesting things to say about like how things like utilitarian frameworks and other like political frameworks that require us to only take the value of who lives and who dies is one that like is not only kind of like false in the way that we should think about violence but also is one that makes us like incredibly neglectful to the various ways in which like life and death happen upon upon like different spectrums and i think really opening up like really complications to the various ways teams are thinking about the concept of what it means to live and what life is is a really interesting route for like people to take conversations around biopolitics additionally i think that it's also a uh, really incredibly important to question just like how you can make sure that the link arguments that you're making are able to have like strong internal link explanations for you to get towards the impact comparison that you want this question of like magnitude for the link arguments so like if you want to be able to place with your biopolitics where you're talking about the management of life is for instance something that creates like the current existential crisis that we have towards climate change towards like these other types of like uh natural crises and violences that happen because of the way in which uh the current system thinks about resources thinks about like communities as disposable etc then really getting to a place where you can like make sure that there's a one-to-one -one logic between like how your link argument is reflecting the politics of the affirmatives and the way that invests and like that type of logic I think can really get you a far away in terms of being able to get that contest impact comparison regardless of how the kind of like top level framing of the portion of the debate comes out which I think is a really good place to be in and feel at the alternative level I think there are a lot of options that you can work on and I think that this is a place where you can pull from a variety of literature bases my advice I think is always to go farther to the left and far and go farther towards arguments that are really a rejection of the usage of state power because I think that ones that go the farther to the left are better at just being able to set lines in the sand for the permutation because I think there are a lot of various ways in which communities can kind of take active uh, political roles in adjusting the ways in which they are kind of like posited towards things like uh, resource deployment and things as, uh, like that. And I think there are a lot of ways in which you can kind of bring about how a kind of refusal of like the state's ability to govern us kind of requires us to come up with new ways of communing coming together in ways that kind of like uh, undo the violence of biopolitics. Hopefully this video is helpful for you and hopefully you'll continue to tune into the rest of the videos I'll be doing on Foucault because I really enjoy them. Thanks.